down to it. Supreme Court rebuffs Apple's court appeal on app payments, threatening billions in revenue. The Supreme Court on Tuesday allowed a court order to take effect that could loosen Apple's grip on its lucrative iPhone app store, potentially siphoning billions of dollars away from one of the world's most profitable companies. The justices rejected Apple's appeal of lower court ruling that uh, found some of Apple's app store rules for apps purchased on more than one billion iPhone. Damn, <laughs> man, they got. Woo. I mean. I got an I got a nice on, you know what I'm saying? But it's just like that's a lot of product, man. A billion iPhones. Sheesh. And that's it, like sales too. You know, Apple too, and that's some of what the case is about. But man, they, they they just be arbitrarily making more money for no reason. Like every time they put out a new phone, like, oh, we're gonna change the shape of the charger dock. Like, ain't no need for that, but you know. Why, why, why not make a few, uh, you know, several billions uh, extra in sales for this one product? Why not? All right. The appeal stemmed from an antitrust lawsuit filed in 2020 by Epic Games, maker of the popular Fortnite video game. Epic lost its broader claim that uh, Cupertino, California based Apple was violating federal antitrust law. And the justices also rejected Epic's appeal Tuesday. But in turning away Apple's effort to maintain exclusive control over it, uh, over in-app payments. The court lifted a hold on an order to allow app developers throughout the U.S. to insert links to other payment options besides its own within iPhone apps. That change would make it easier for developers to avoid paying Apple's commissions ranging from 15 to 30 percent. Man, Apple making all the motherfucking money. They making all the money. I mean, and again, this is why you need antitrust laws, because otherwise, you know, just more and more you can't compete with stuff like this but um you can see how that would cost i mean they'll be fine clearly like they're going to be fine they may have to shut down a couple of offices and shit like that they may have to fire a bunch of employees that they don't really need you know a lot of the people that got fired um when the uh what was that bank uh that tech bank i can't recall the name off the top of my head but that tech bank uh that that ended up closing or that ended up going under um, in Facebook and they ended up firing like 10,000 people and shit. But they like hoarded the job market because they had all this extra investment capital and they just hired a bunch of people who kind of just sat around and didn't do anything. Not to say that all the people who lost their jobs were in that position. Of course not. All I'm saying is, is that, you know, I mean, when companies are as large as Apple and Meta and stuff like that. They literally do things like hoard portions of the job market just in case. You know what I'm saying? Like, so. Oh, I still got the sniffles. Ooh. Yes, the Silicon Valley Bank. Thank you. Um, but yeah, 15 to 30 percent in this in the commission off the sales. Yeah, that that'll be a chunk off. But again, they'll be fine. They'll be all right. Those fees have turned into a significant part of Apple's services division, which generated $85 billion in revenue during the company's last fiscal year ending in September. <laughs> Bro, that's so much money. That's so much money. Just, just off of that, like just that one thing. They talking about just that commissions piece with the uh, game developers in the app store. $85 billion just with that alone. That's crazy. That's, bro, that's that, that is market share right there. Um, the specter of consumers being able to defect to other payment channels for in-app transactions is one of several factors that has been weighing on Apple's stock, which has declined 5% so far this year. The drop has enabled Apple's longtime rival Microsoft to eclipse to eclipse it as the world's most valuable company. Oh, darn. Apple shares declined by 2% in Tuesday's early afternoon trading, leaving the company, the company with a market value of about $2.8 trillion. <laughs> oh, no. Microsoft, whose stock has uh, edged up 3% so far this year, is valued at $2.9 trillion. Trillion-dollar company. Big dollars. 
Besides the possibility of the Supreme Court refusing to consider the payment issue in the Epic case, investors also have been fretting about new European regulations scheduled to take effect in March that also could force Apple to allow alternate payment methods inside iPhone apps. Apple has staunchly resisted taking down the barriers, citing security concerns that could hurt iPhone owners. Indeed, you know, if we not if we not getting 15 to 30 percent of of their money, you know, they may have security concerns because that's how shit works. You know what I'm saying? Just a little bit more. Epic based in Cary, North Carolina, had claimed that Apple's App Store, which was launched in 2008. Man, how fa how far at the app world has come in less than 20 years. You know what I'm saying? Not quite 20 years. The, I mean, the technology, it's not even just that the technology's come a long way, but it's totally transformed society. Oh, my nose. And, you know, app technology has totally transformed society in so many ways. Not all bad, not all good. Sorry, y'all. Oh, uh, where we at? Um, he turned into a legal monopoly that stifles innovation and competition while generating billions of dollars in profit for Apple. Okay, they didn't respond for comment. Back in 2020, Epic tried to offer an alternative way to get its mobile app uh, attempting to have Hold on, way to get it small. They tried to offer an alternative way to download the app. I guess not from the app store, attempting to evade Apple's commissions charge when digital goods were purchased by players on Fortnite and other games. Oh, so they getting all the money from the game too. It's like it's on the platform, so all the money you make within the game, man. They making moo la 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 la. Hey, Ariola, hold on, we got Ariola in the building. We got brother soul life in the building. Uh. All right. But yeah, now, nah. um, Apple's too goddamn big for its britches. <laughs>